Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. Review a palooza of the Madison Horror Film Festival films continues as we take a look at Dr. Spine. Now, Dr. Spine was brought to us by writer-director John Wesley Norton and tells us the story basically of this chiropractor who goes crazy. Okay, he's got this inner conflict within him of what he should do, you know, what bad things should he do and what bad things he shouldn't do. And uh, it's due to some childhood trauma he suffered in the past. And we see that conflict inside him as one side starts to take over tries to take over over the other side and uh, we see things as they escalate from there uh, the Dr. Spine was entertaining it had comedic elements in it is kind of a dark comedy horror film and for the most part it does really well now you get some great performances in here especially by the popular in B film uh, genre Joe Estevez yes he is from the Sheen family if you will and Joe Estevez does great in carrying some of the scenes and some of the parts of the film where it might get a little slow he plays uh, one of the embodiments of uh, the in inner voice, if you will, of Dr. Spine. They kind of represent the inner voice of Dr. Spine by having a couple people uh, play the different sides, the conflicting sides, if you will, within the doctor. And I, I loved that bit of it as well. I like that we, we don't just get inner monologue. You actually get two different performers who help represent these sides. And so you get some great debates in there and some uh, fun moments, to be sure. Joe Estevez really is a scene stealer and in every scene he really uh, eats up the camera in a good way okay you also get a short performance in here by uh, Tiffany Shepes she's in here look also for Judy Tenuta in here playing the mother of a uh, doctor spine and it was great to see her back on screen the script is really uh, decent for what it is you know the whole idea of a chiropractor going crazy we haven't seen too much before so I did like that aspect of it and while it was kind of a slow burn at the beginning of the film it starts to take off near the end as the doctor's one side wins over the other side within Dr. Spine and I really did enjoy the ending of where they went with it uh, so I did like how it finished solid it did kind of start off weak with some of the dialogue being cliche and, and basically just kind of a slow burn but it does finish strong in good independent horror fashion and so fans of independent horror genres I really think you should check it out you'll love recognizing some of the faces you've seen in past films and the concept of the crazy chiropractor uh, is uh, different uh, for a horror film so also you know two uh, entertaining aspects of the film and plus the humor in it's done well and though it does uh, have some weak spots it is still worth a watch at least once so catch it at a festival if you can good old Dr. Spine uh, and until next time folks keep that ticket stuck